Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file. They're having trouble putting a contour line around the lower text. And first of all, I'm going to turn off your show grid because that would bug me. And this is pretty easy. You just have to go through a few steps. And first thing you need to do is go to Object Group and, and, or go to Curve, turn it into Curves. Select it all again, go to Object ungroup. Now it's ungrouped. And when you do that, you can see that your well tool create a boundary comes up. We're going to create a boundary. I'm going to use my nudge distance to, to, to move it over. It doesn't matter that it, it's just putting a boundary. So it does not matter that um, the interior parts of the letters are gone. Then I'm going to go to effects and contour. And I'm going to contour to the outside, point one. And you see you get that. Now you've got some sharp edges, so we need to back up and do a rounded corner contour. And then this part right here, so you can make it less or more to make these touch. But one thing you can do is go to Object, Break Contour Apart, get your Shape Tool. Let's zoom in here. Get your Shape Tool and just move some of these nodes over to here. Don't worry about that interior part. Then you could kind of clean this up if you wanted to, to make it look a little better. You could make it more round. And then take your virtual segment delete key, which is in your crop tool for layout, and just cut out these two lines. Then we're gonna use a smart fill tool. We're gonna to fill in this exterior. Well, you've got your set on white, we're going to set it on black and you get that. Now we're going to nudge that over and we're going to left click, right click in red. We're going to grab it all, go up to object and break curve apart and then just grab the outside and nudge it back. Now there's a lot you could do with this. If you wanted these touching, you know, because this is, this is touching and this isn't touching. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's get rid of all this. And you could use the shape tool to move some of these down. Let's just, let's, uh, let's move it out of the way just so we won't mess up our letters. Let's grab the shape tool. And this would be a good case to use the freehand pick tool. Well, freehand shape tool. I think hold down the alt key. Yes, hold down the alt key and just select some of these nodes. That way you didn't select any of these other nodes. And then just move these up. And you could you could spend a little time on here, uh, you know, deleting some nodes and, and making some of them you know, rounder so they'll kind of fit in there. Uh, move that, well, I moved the wrong one. Just take this node and move it up. Maybe delete that node. Make this node a little sh like that. Take your virtual segment delete key and just delete through that, delete through that, delete through that. Use the smart fill again and move it over. Left click, right click in red. And if you want to cut it out, you need to make sure it's a hairline. And because we're using the nudge, we can put it right back to where it was. And now that'll all be one piece. And you could still change this. You know, if you like, if you don't like the look, you could still change, you know, any of these nodes, you know, make it a little more rounder and, uh, you know, do whatever you want to with it just by moving your handles. And that's how you could do it and then just kind of prove what it would look like on wood. We could use a smart fill tool to fill it in like with a, a light wood color and fill in the exterior. And then when you fill in the parts that are not, they're not, they're gonna stay there, that's what it's gonna look like out of wood. So you can kind of get an idea because that way you could still change your shape tool. Now you'll have a duplicate line a lot of times, but uh, you can play around with that. Anyway, I hope it answered his question and
Thank you for watching.